Hi there, sign of Aquarius. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading for you. Hope you're doing really good. Um, thank you so much for people who have donated to the channel or got a private reading. And thank you so much if you hit like, if you hit subscribe. I appreciate the support and I want to send my love back out to you. And we are pulling now for the sign of Aquarius from the Heavenly Bodies Astrology deck. What do you got for Aquarius? What message do you want to give them? House 8. Transformation, karma, facing fears, and legacies. Wow. That's kind of big. Just legacies. Okay, house eight. And then I have cancer. Nurture, comfort, and protection. Nurture, comfort, and protection. Uh, and Scorpio. Hurt and heal, Scorpio, um, also associated with transformation. So, you have that. Scorpio, uh, intensity, exposing, purging, and renewing. And this is all centered around your house eight, Scorpio and Cancer. Well, let's put... Well, let's go into the tarot. Let's see what the tarot wants to say about this. Um, purging and renewing comfort. This is about legacies and this is about maybe transforming some kind of legacy. Or healing some kind of past um, family type issues. Messages for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. What's the issue? Hierophant in the reverse. What's the challenge? <laughs> it's a partnership that's off balance and the, um, and the commitment here. Um, and having to do with commitment too. Or changing something up. Doing something in like a very different way. But there's balance needed. That's beautiful. That's nice. That's nice. <clears throat> okay, and this is Kim Kranz, The Wild Unknown. How beautiful. All right. So, look, there's really good connections here. Um, there is uh, the past energy of the Seven of Cups in the reverse, which means that there probably was a period where somebody wasn't able to see things, you know, as clear, as clearly as they could or should have been seeing. And it might be due to some kind of impairment in, in their judgment, what, however that even came about, right? Um, you know, let's use the spacious tarot. Let's use that. Uh, so seeing clearly, um, and kind of like taking the haze away from the eyes is what this is doing. It clears up any kind of confusion. Um, it might, you may feel like something was limited, like there was a limited, uh, number of choices or something like that. seashell stuff coming out to me in those um, cards up there. The Empress, the Ace of Swords in reverse, and the Eight of Cups in reverse. Seeing clearly um, 
it's a, it's a return to something that kind of needs cleaning up or something like that. There, there's more truth or clarity to be found. There's more information to be gathered, possibly. Um, there is a really big win with the Empress energy because, look, you've got it in the past and you have it in the future. Whether or not somebody was actually using the, the best that they could out of that energy, I don't know. But it's there. But it's there. And so this could be... Um, a return or a past um, revisiting a situation that you tried to emotionally disconnect from, but it's kind of, it would have been hard. Tell me about the Hierophant in the reverse. Tell me about the Hierophant in the reverse. Guardian of Wands. Taking a chance, putting yourself out there, risking getting burned in order to, and being bold and being brave. That, this confidence is what's bridging the past energy to this present energy. So, they're standing out, being attractive, um, being really good at some kind of skill, talent, or ability. Helping you see or move forward a little bit better. It could be talking about an Aries energy. You could have Scorpio too. But, um... So, there's something about bravery here, coming back to address the challenge of maybe decisions, choices and decisions. What is off balance? Explorer of Swords, Knight of Swords, in the reverse. So, this has to do with what is not changing. Addressing what's not changing. All right, and the hermit. Um, this is home is where you are. The hermit here on this card carries the home with him everywhere he goes, right? The hermit um, turtle, finding your inner light, but knowing you can be safe and sound too within yourself here if you need. Sometimes this can be like a little bit of an introvert kind of card, like introverted or wanting to spend more time alone. Um, Child of Wands or the Page of Wands, usually about good news. is It is my good news card. You can kind of see on the end that it looks like a sparkler or something looks like. So it's something fun, something playful. And maybe that's what you're thinking of or you're reflecting. Um on making some good times in the future maybe tell me about the um hermit tell me more about the hermit seven of pentacles what you've invested thus far wow another um swords in the reverse guardian of swords in the reverse or queen of swords in reverse it's a energy of somebody that's just not using their their head like they're not using their mind and they're kind of disconnected from their heart space I would say um, disconnect major disconnect hmm so what's the healing or the timeout that comes in here with the four of swords the devil energy planning strategy um, Cornucopia could be talking about healing um, material things or darker fears that we have. So healing those things first. Seven of Wands makes me feel like you're seeing possibly like signs or synchronicities from the universe, kind of showing you, you know, hey, this is I'm going to light up which direction or light up what I feel like. You know, you would like me, you would like to see in the dark, right? So, I don't know. There's something like that. There's something like that about you navigating your way and somebody always having this light for you. All right. Tell me about Father of Swords or the King of, King of Swords. Tell me about the King of Swords. 
Uh, King of Wands. It is, um, well, this is, the King of Wands or Elder of Wands is uh, somebody who is inspirational, who can really build something. It might be Leo energy. This might be Aquarius energy with the, um, I mean, your energy, sorry. So you're feeling like in your energy and you're feeling knowledgeable. Also being seen as inspirational to others and you're able to build successfully. So you know what kind of actions are here. You have page of once twice in your um, reading and that means good news. My good news cards coming to you. So the Empress here is your cornucopia and something is being created. Birthing something to life here with the Empress energy. Tell us more about the Empress energy here in the future. Oh, yeah, it's a huge opportunity. It'd be an opportunity to uh, have some good finances or to make some good money. So down this path would be like a big thing and then something more as you go. So big money is what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. Page of Wands, good news. It's what you're hoping for, so it is what's going to come about. So, yeah. The Six of Cups. Um, as above, so below. There's some strong connections here. Always connected, even if they're apart. Or, you know, so always connected through the heart, even if apart. Um, as above, so below. An issue with someone letting you down here is still popping up this person like taking so long or having it such a long delay they haven't been able to have um come through for you for something tell me about a uh, son of pentacle in the reverse strength in the reverse lost confidence in this soul connect or comp or um yeah in this soul connection or really just needing to focus on um, some kind of major family like healing and making sure your thoughts are balanced and things like that. So reassessing where everybody is at this point. I feel like you like it's lost confidence in somebody, but I feel like you get your confidence back here. Um, definitely you have it. collaboration working together might be doing some more research or this might be like saying hey this is just laying down the groundwork for some major soul soul family connections and healings two of swords something that had been postponed is going to be um addressed eventually here maybe sooner than you think with the explorer of wands the knight of wands um indicating some kind of movement or travel so that's what I've got for you for the most part here Aquarius for your next 48 hour hope you enjoy your reading and let's get you some tea leaves tea leaves for Aquarius I have gong an exciting event bird perch waiting for news package or a letter and that's that page of wands excellent well family wishes come true oh wow boat money or property through an inheritance winning or windfall okay and then from the angel numbers deck got this off of etsy angel number messages so you are creative you're able to think of, of neat ideas you're an original, innovative thinker. Um, your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. I'm imaginative. And then 21, you're highly creative with the strong will to succeed. Your imagination is highly charged and it reveals in itself everything you do from your sparkling conversation to your most prized projects. I am inspiring. You are also kind-hearted, 18. You're both open-minded and open-hearted, and your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Make sure your goals are aligned with the highest collective need or the highest good of all in the collective need. I am kind-hearted. Okay. <laughs> um, 
What else? Clear audience, clear hearing, numerologist, study of divine numbers, study of divine numbers, and a tarot deck creator, a visionary. And that's what I got for you, Aquarius, sending you love and light. Bye, guys.